And so one of the things you can start doing as an emotional being is you can start coming up with these little hacks, right? So a lot of times what I do is I don't respond right away to texts when people send me messages. And it took, in the beginning, it was like, oh my gosh, if I don't respond to this right away, it's going to be a big thing. But I just, I just don't. And I'll, sometimes I'll sleep on it. Like if somebody invites me to do something. In the beginning, I would say, you know, I need a little bit of time. Let me check on it. I would come up with all sorts of like little ways to do it. But now I'm at a point where my relationships have gotten to a point where they just expect that from me. Right? So, but in the beginning, you can start to articulate it and say, so I just, I need to check my schedule. Can I get back to you? And the thing is, is like one of the things that helped me also in the beginning is I had a couple of little slogans that I wrote on my fridge and over my window that was, one of them was, what is good for you will wait for you. Mm, that's a good one. So if it's not correct for you, then let it go. If someone needs to push you into making a decision, then, and you're not ready, then that's, that's not correct for me. I should say that for me. I should only speak for myself. If somebody's trying to push me and I'm not ready, then I just have to be willing to say, okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna have to let that thing move, right? And I just, there's like such a deep trust in my own system. And I'll tell you, Dante, that the more, the, the deeper I am, the longer I'm in the system, the more I'm following my strategy and my authority, which Reggie, my authority is emotional. That's what it means. Strategy is we wait to respond to life coming towards us. And authority is this emotionality. In the beginning, I was sending out all this emotional chaos. And I imagine you've read this, right? So what happens as an emotional being when we make quick decisions and we say yes to try to please somebody, right? Oh, okay, I'm going to go do this thing with you because you want to do this with me and I love you and all those things. And then I get there and it sucks and they can feel it. I don't want to be there because we're generators. Our, our auras are wide open. There's no hiding how we emotionally feel. So then I show up and I'm there trying to please them, trying to prove that I'm a good friend when in actuality, it's just not correct for me to be there. And so at a certain point, I just stopped all of that because it's just painful, right? When we start to wake up to realize that, that my energy, it's not correct. My energy doesn't actually want to be here. And then I'm then everybody's kind of steeping in that energy, right? Like we're all swimming in it. And so we know what that's like. So does that answer your question? A hundred percent. Okay. For me, thanks. Yes. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an, it's an important thing as an emotional person to start to clean up the emotional chaos. Yeah, it's a responsibility well, we have. <laughs> Would you mean as far as what we were giving out to everyone around us? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I don't mean, I don't mean, I, I want to say, I want to be really clear about that. I don't mean that we're supposed to like not be emotional because you can't stop. No, that. no, But no, it's no, making decisions emotional. that are correct for us is what stops the chaos from happening. Because then I'm in a, I mean, if I invite Hagen to go do something with me, but I'm not clear about it, and then we're caught in this, like, oh, we're in this rocky boat together, and it's not actually feeling good for either one of us, right? That's the chaos. It's, mm. right? Frustrations. Frustration, bitterness, anger, that all comes up. Whereas if I'm, like, clear, and I take my time, and I wade it through, and then I invite him, it's a totally different experience doesn't mean that life doesn't happen and things come up and the wave moves, but, but there's a correctness of being together. And here we are doing this walk, right? 